Today's April Fool's Day, and I'm going to show you some Bible verses on fools and what the Bible describes as fools. And obviously, I'm going to go over atheists because they're definitely what the Bible describes as fools. And I'm going to show you some verses that perfectly describe atheists and characterize them as fools. So, obviously, the first one I'm going to go to is Psalms 14:1. It says, "The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good." So people say, "I know some good atheists. There's none that doeth good." You know, for all of sin and come short of the glory of God. Another good one is Psalms 53. Psalms 53. The, the same thing is repeated in Psalms 53. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, they have done abominable iniquity, there is none that doeth good. We see the same thing. They are corrupt, there is none that doeth good. Look at communism. Look at um, Nazism. All the results of atheist Darwinian evolution. You know, the origin of the species. You know, if one people is less evolved, we can just get rid of them. You know, that's atheism. So next time some atheist says, oh, Christians have killed people. First of all, it was the Roman Catholic Church, and the Roman Catholic Church is far from biblical Christianity. It is just repackaged paganism, Roman paganism repackaged. But next time an atheist says, well, Christians have killed people, what about, just, just say to them, okay, what about the communists? You know? Hundred, hundreds of millions of people killed at the hands of atheism. And by the way, uh, nations today that are run by state-enforced atheism, like North Korea, are some of the most just dangerous places on earth. Something to think about right there. But what else? What is the, what else? What are some other good verses? I'll put it that way. What are some other good verses that describe atheists as fools? Because again, April Fool's Day. So let's talk about some fools. Psalms four or not Psalms Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse number nine. Good, another good description of atheists. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Tip, perfect description of atheists. They mock at sin, they make fun of it, not knowing all the health problems that comes with sin. Haven't you noticed that every single sin, whether it be fornication, abortion, whatever, all has health problems. You know, with abortion, you get depressed. With fornication, you get STDs. With uh, sodomy, you get all kinds of stuff. You get anal cancer, you get all this other stuff, AIDS, syphilis, you know, intestinal parasites, all this stuff. Uh, fools make a mock at sin. I mean, again, just look at the health problems. You know, when you uh, are drunk, you can't think properly. When you are, you know, you can't drive properly. All this other stuff. You know, when you smoke, when you when you uh, do weed, it ruins your lungs. When you do vape, it pumps lead into your lungs or or oil. I'm not sure what it is, but it pumps like substances into your lungs that are terrible for your health. I mean, after vape got legalized, there was already deaths from vaping just not long after it got legalized. Fools make a mock at sin. Perfect description of atheists. They'll make fun of it. They'll mock it. But when it's, when it's harming them, yeah, they're not, they're not, not laughing at that point. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse number 7. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Another good description of atheists. Atheists, you know, they just do what that will. It should be the whole of the law. They despise wisdom and instruction. You know, it's, it's, all, it's all relevant. It's all just, you know, uh, what's the word in the U.S.? I don't really care, but it's all just you do what that wills. You know, there's no, there is no higher authority. You know, so by atheist logic, you can just kill people, because, you know, who says it's wrong? I mean, if, we, if they're their own standard, we can just kill people. We can, we, we can do whatever you want. Again, why is, why does communism exist? Because atheism, it's just do what that wills. So when communism comes, they have no, they have no higher authority. They have no standard. They can just kill people. They can get rid of less of all people. You know. Again, yeah, fools despise wisdom and destruction. I know a great description of atheists. Um, next verse is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. Proverbs 12, 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto a counsel is wise. Another good description of atheists. They're right in their own eyes. You know, oh, you know, I, I think I'll be fine. I'll think I'll, I'll, I'm good without God. You know all this other stuff. I, I can I can fornicate. All this other stuff. I can I can do abortion. I can get drunk. You know the fool. They're right in their own eyes. But when they stand before God on Judgment Day, they won't be laughing at that point. Perfect description. I mean those those verses just perfectly describe atheists. So on this April Fool's Day, I want to give a congratulations to all the atheists out there for being the biggest fools on the planet. And by the way, not to mention just the science ina scientific inaccuracies of atheism, all the biological inaccuracies. I mean, Darwinian evolution has been proven wrong several times. Um, a good way to prove God is the law of cause and effect. Every, I'll put it this way, the law of cause and effect just destroys atheism. Because everything that's finite has a beginning. So every, everything that has a cause, or not, sorry, I said it wrong. Everything that's finite has a beginning, so the first cause 
basically has to be infinite and self-existing or else it would have to have a cause itself. So anything that exists, every created object has a beginning. So the one that created that object, the finite object, has to have no beginning and be infinite and self-existing or else it would need a God itself. Or I mean, not God, it would need a cause and a creator itself. So whenever you see, pretty much what that means is that every object you see around you is proof of God. Because anything finite proves the infinite. And there's so much other proof too. I mean, not to mention the scientific inaccuracies of the Big Bang, all that, that nutty nonsense. I mean, what's more logical? In the beginning, God, or in the beginning, a dot that exploded? You know, ridiculous, nutty nonsense. And I could go on and on. I've, I've done videos refuting atheism. But again, congratulations to the atheists for being the biggest fools on the planet. So April Fool's Day should really be, be titled Atheist Day. So, I wanted to get that out there. Uh, happy April Fool's Day, atheists. Good job, good, good job for being the biggest fools on the planet. Uh, also, the Catholics, too. I want to hand it to them as well. The Catholics are pretty big fools. These verses can apply to Catholics as well, because they profess they know God, but in works they deny Him. So, uh, don't be deceived by atheism or Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.